Hello and welcome to yet another episode of going through a Reddit thread because I think it's interesting and trying to provide some somewhat insightful commentary about it or at least my opinions on the matter which uh, might be interesting to you. So last time it worked pretty well so let's do it again. This time the thread is just as interesting that is Kitty Plasma 6 is expected to come next summer and not exactly next summer it's more like um, autumn but okay. What are your expectations? As always, I don't answer, I just, you know, read the answers of the other people's. The first one is actually pretty interesting, which is, I just want bug fixes and polish. I don't care if it doesn't get a new feature for the next five years, if it means that all the little bugs and quirks get fixed, blah blah blah. However, I'm expecting a bunch of new, probably decently cool features to make their way into KDE, but without fixes, uh, to a lot of long-standing major, major and minor issues. So you, you don't trust us. <laughs> okay, so uh, first of all, I fully agree with the idea of bug fixes and polish being a priority for Kitty Plasma 6. And to be honest, I do think that's kind of uh, the direction. There is a discussion that is, uh, if you're doing a major release, Kitty Plasma 6, uh, first of all, that's a great time to convince people that uh, to try again your desktop, because maybe they only used like Kitty Plasma 5.10, which was a long time ago, and nowadays it's much better, but they don't want to try the new Kitty Plasma because they, they had done so a lot of time ago and they have a very bad opinion about it because it was like 10 years ago, <laughs> just kidding, but too many years ago and they don't want to try the latest release. If we do a major release that is Kitty Plasma 6, uh, it's much much more likely to be able to convince people to say, I know that you don't like uh, Kitty Plasma, you didn't like it last, last time, but try it again because it has changed. It's much easier to make that point and for this reason it's very important for Kitty Plasma 6.0, the very first release, to be stable, polished, and as free as bug fixes as we can get it, in my opinion, because that is the version that a lot of uh, users, new potential users, are going to try. So that is my opinion. That said, we just can't, I think, do an entire, entire major release that is just about polish. Because another thing that happens if you want people to know about Kitty Plasma 6, it has to be somewhat exciting. So the direction that I'm personally going for, and I think there has, like, it was kind of the result of the talking inside of the Kitty development channels, is that uh, avoiding the introduction of major new features uh, that are done with the Kitty Plasma 6 in mind. So maybe there will be some major features because we can't stop features from being added, as I've talked uh, about before. But without thinking, let's do this in particular for Kitty Plasma 6, how can we still make Kitty Plasma 6 exciting? And that is usually through changes in design that make Kitty Plasma look better but don't require significant work behind the scenes. And there are some opinions on how that be done. There are some ideas and there are some agreements maybe it's maybe it's just a matter of changing some defaults so that it everything looks better out of the box these kind of things that for sure won't introduce new bugs because it's just you know changing the defaults and stuff however and this is important it will be exciting enough for Kitty Plasma 6 to be uh, a thing that people will talk about which is just as important so I, I do expect bug fixes and polish to be like the number one priority but at the same time there has to be something exciting and the goal is to introduce that excitingness without adding new bugs. I think that's the idea. I expect Qt6 instead of Qt5. Pretty sure that's all that the leftmost number actually indicates. Kind of, kind of. I mean, it's not completely wrong, but um, it's not just that. When switching from Qt5 to Qt6, first of all, um, we also get a new major release of the frameworks, which uh, Qt Plasma uses to work and all Qt apps. And when you do a major release of the frameworks, uh, to port them from Qt5 to Qt6, you're also able at the same time to clean them, up, clean them up, make sure that they work nicely, that their API is organized, these kind of things. Throw away some legacy stuff, and this actually helps uh, the applications as well. So it's not just Qt6 instead of Qt5, it's also Qt Frameworks 6 instead of Qt Frameworks 5. There will be some new features because it's a half month period between Plasma 5.27 and 6.0, so some new features will be added for sure. We can't stop new features again. But again, uh, there's this, this idea to not just be Qt6, but also to create some excitingness through a prettier design. 
Vulcan, I am completely ignorant about this, so let's avoid it entirely. I don't think it's something coming in KD Plasma 6, but I don't know. I'm expecting KD to see Plasma 6 and the KD SC merging with Maui project, and for Plasma 6 and the KD SC to be developed using Kurigami. Okay, so I, I gotta point out a lot of things. I gotta be the annoying guy. So first of all, the KD ESC doesn't exist anymore. It's no longer a thing since a lot of time ago. Uh, SC, if you don't know, was the software compilation if I'm not wrong. It was even before I joined KDE, so I've never saw the SC. It's no longer, a th now we just have like the KDE applications and the KDE desktop and the KDE frameworks. These are the main uh, products of KDE, I think. But I, I get a point, like you want KDE applications to merge with Maui applications and that is completely impossible. Like that's never going to happen because they are just too different. They are completely different things, doing completely different stuff with completely different ideas and uh, targets. I, I don't see any way that there, such a joining would happen. Like that's not gonna happen. However, let's switch to the more interesting part, I think. Plasma 6 and the KDE applications to be developed using Kurigami. So again, I gotta be the annoying guy because that, that's my job. Um, Plasma 6 doesn't use Kurigami for, for a reason. So you might know that you have stuff called Plasma themes that allow you to customize the Plasma desktop. Here's the thing, Plasma, uses the Plasma theme components to draw everything, panel, the widgets and stuff like that. They are drawn thanks to the Plasma. So Kurigami is not like used on KD Plasma desktop in some places, but mostly it's not used on the KD Plasma desktop because KD Plasma has the Plasma theme that provides the look and feel. You could make a case to stop doing that and somehow bring that customization to Kurigami and then use Kurigami everywhere. Kinda difficult, I should think about it. It, it's a point that you could make, sure. Regarding applications using Kurigami, if it was up to me, I'd probably fully agree with it immediately. However, that's technically unfeasible in such a short time span because it's like one year, let's say less than one year actually, but let's say one year, you're not going to be able to port even just one powerful KD applications as Dolphin Kurigami. Like Dolphin is seriously feature packed, super complex, has a lot of stuff in it. Porting that Kurigami, Kurigami probably isn't even meant to try to do such complex applications, I think. Maybe I'm completely wrong about this, but you would have to re-implement stuff like customizing the toolbar. That's not something that Kurigami provides or wants to provide. So it's something that I would want to see. It's not something that I would really consider feasible right now. Uh, this is the usual feature request that I talked about last time, I think, as well, of being able to switch workspaces independently on different monitors. I don't know if that, that's coming, but the thing is, it's not really related to KD Plasma 6 at all. Like, this could be implemented in any KD Plasma version, potentially. It's not about KD Plasma 6. There's nothing in 6 that will particularly justify such a, a feature. However, please notice that there's this is if KD fixes that, I'll consider using it using it again. Again, I think this is really the point of KD Plasma 6, which is, which this thread is all about, will be the version where a lot of people that don't use KD will say, I'll consider using it again, if even if just try it out. So we got to do it right. I expect awesomeness, fully agree. I fully agree. I'm trying to bring my own little uh, piece of awesomeness inside the project. I expect there not uh, to be that much of a user facing change, a smooth transition. I do surely hope for a smooth transition. I would s like, again, I, I do think there will be some user facing changes like in design. So it's not completely invisible to the user. There will be, I think, new features as always in a KD Plasma release, not just because it's KD Plasma 6. Always in KD releases, you do have new features. So I would expect that to happen in KD Plasma 6 as well. So not exactly nothing user facing, but but yes, a smooth transition fully. Better dark mode. Again, we are into the suggesting what we would like in KD Plasma regardless of KD Plasma 6 territory. Better dark mode. Oh, you don't like breeze dark? That, I mean, I guess it could be dark and a bit. It's not too dark. Personally, I would always like to have like three themes, themes which is light, dark, and pitch black. I think the, these three themes work the best. Usually when I try out applications, I, I do want these three to have these three combinations. Light, dark, pitch black.
better defaults and predefined shortcuts. I fully agree with the shortcuts. Again, the, well, this actually is something that could like, I am hoping in KD Plasma 6 to use KD Plasma 6 as, um, as a reason to change the shortcuts, because if you do change, if you do change them, then it makes sense for it to be in, in a major release because changing the shortcuts is something that could get people annoyed at, but I will try to change some that I think don't make any sense at all. I will try. I do not expect to be successful in that because I tried before and I failed, but this time at least I can say, well, it's Plasma 6, so if we want to change it, then it makes sense to do it now. Better UX is way too big. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> all, all of this is better UX. Yeah, I totally agree with this one too. I value stability more than anything else. I hope the switch will be seamless. Totally agree. Please, dear Queen devs, fix the recent QML rewrite regressions. Yes, I think that's something that will be worked upon in general. Until summer next year, a lot of can and will change. So why speculate? It's not that much time. <laughs> it seems like a lot, one year. But you know, it's not that much time and there's a lot to do. <laughs> like I'm not even remotely involved into um, KD Frameworks 6 stuff or right now anything regarding QT6 stuff like that. I'm currently working on bug fixing the KD panel, as you know. But at the same time, I'm also in the promotion group and I think that if we want to do a good promotion of KD Plasma 6, this year we will got to start like eight months before. Usually we do like two or three and that's not enough. This time for KD Plasma 6, I think we want to have like announcements, videos, stuff like that. So we got to start early. <laughs> that is easier said than done, but uh, I'm going to try some. I have some ideas. We'll see. Mostly these small design inconsistencies that annoy the heck out of me, but nobody else seemed to see. Please uh, let me... <laughs> Could you do me a list, please? If it, okay. Because there's a lot of people complaining about small design inconsistency. There's not a lot of people opening bug reports about that. I'll make you an example. So let's switch to an empty works. Yeah, let's call this empty. So take this. You're not seeing. Okay, so take this. Please notice how, I don't know, this looks good, perfectly good, like perfect. I, I love it. But this, this, there's clearly not enough space on the left of November. There's some margin padding that is missing. I'm super annoyed about this. I want to fix that. I just was busy <laughs> with other stuff. And this is a small design inconsistency. If we had people like doing a list of all the margin stuff that should be fixed, I, I think it would be much easier to try to address them. Personal opinion. Anything, just go crazy, Katie Devs. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. This point is correct. It's not next summer, as I said. They're going to skip one launch, which means it's going to be like autumn or winter. When does winter start? I don't know. There is some tiling stuff coming for 5.27, actually. I talked about that. So something like that is coming. Again, not Plasma 6 stuff. Official KD integration of Gradients if he's told to use generated GTK CSS colors as a color scheme automatically. Wait. <laughs> no, it would be nice to have, but I would say completely impossible, but still something that would be nice. I totally agree. <laughs> Maybe not that impossible. I don't know. I, sh I don't know, but somewhat impossible. <laughs> Pick up support of multiple cursors at once with ability to send devices graphically to each one in settings. Whoa, I didn't know about that. I didn't know that was that thing at all. Oh, there's the heat. I don't understand why KD Plasma or Gnome or anything matters. It's okay. I think that uh, this is it. Thanks for following along and see you tomorrow with another video.